Hey everyone, how's it going? So last time I explained a little bit about how um, I'm not going to include node modules in the project uh, and I explained that you need to run npm install um, when you download a project like this uh, so that it will go ahead and install all the dependencies. Now that's great, but what if you're going to use git? So if you're using git, you're not really expected to go and delete this node modules uh, folder every single time you make a commit. So how do we handle that? Well, I'll show you now, it's real simple. Uh, and if you're not using Git for your project, um, then you can go ahead and skip this lecture. This is just for those that are gonna use Git as a version control. So, um, like I said, if you're not using Git, just move to the next video. It doesn't matter about this for you. Um, but let's say you're using this as a Git project. So uh, I don't have this set up as a Git project yet, so let me just run Git init real quick. So now it's a Git repository. What you're gonna do is create a Git ignore uh, file. Now, git ignore files just tell git um, about any files not to include when you make a commit. So, uh, if I create a new file, I'm going to call it, uh, well, I'm going to save it, sorry, uh, in the root of my folder. I'll just save it as dot git ignore. And it's all lowercase, one word, um, and it's telling me that it's going to be reserved because uh, files beginning with dot are hidden, they're system files. So, um, it's just letting me know, but this is okay. We, we do want to call it dot git ignore. So go ahead and click use. And now we've created our git ignore file. So any, so git will check in this file for any uh, files that should be ignored. So um, we don't want to include the node modules um, folder with our changes. So if I say node underscore modules like this, uh, slash star, this means any files in the node modules folder uh, will be ignored because star means anything so anything inside of the node modules folder is going to be ignored by git this means that even if we add a hundred packages to this and um, when we make a commit it will just commit the code here only and not the all the dependencies code otherwise you'd be adding all of this with your commit and it could be like I said quite a large uh, file size 